Hi everyone, it's me Evie. What I have for you guys today, it's going to be a pumpkin pie flan. So stay tuned for the ingredients. It's going to be delicious. Okay, so the ingredients that I have is pumpkin pie. Make sure it's not pumpkin pie filling. Just make sure it says 100% pumpkin. I have five eggs, room temperature. Cream cheese, also room temperature. Um, brand of your choice. I have a 12 ounce can of evaporated milk, a 14 ounce can of condensed milk, a teaspoon of vanilla. If you do not have to clear, you can use the uh, brown one, not a problem. One fourth cup of water, room temperature. Um, one cup of sugar, which I'm gonna put in my saucepan because we're gonna make our syrup. That's where you're gonna add the one fourth cup of water. Then we're going to put a lid on this and then we're going to the stove, cook this on medium till we have a nice amber color caramel. Then I have cloves. If you have cloves in powder form, you're just going to use one fourth teaspoon. I have them whole, but the blender will take care of this. A fourth teaspoon of the nutmeg, a teaspoon of the cinnamon, and half a teaspoon of ginger. And what I have here, I don't know how many quarts this is, probably like a half gallon of hot water. I'm going to put this on my stove to boil because I'm going to need it to put it in the pan where I'm going to cook my flan. I will show you that as it comes along. Okay, as you can see, I have my sugar cooking like on a medium low. I didn't move it around. I'm just going to leave it just like that. This is going to cook maybe 10-15 minutes until we get that nice amber color that we want. Do not take it any further. Because it's also going to cook in your oven and you don't want that to get bitter. Your flan will mess up. And here I have this on high boiling. Because um, I'm going to put that in a big cake pan to cook my flan in. So, let's get started. Okay, so, busted on my blender. So what you want to do is you want to add your five eggs. Open them separately in a different bowl in case you get a bad one. I'm going to add my teaspoon of vanilla, which is the cap full. I'm going to add my evaporated milk. Remember I have everything room temperature. You especially need your cream cheese and eggs to be room temperature. I'm going to add a teaspoon of cinnamon. You know, if you have allspice, just add a tablespoon of that. But I like it like this better because in case you like something more than anything else, then yeah. I'm going to do half teaspoon of ginger. If you like more ginger, add the whole teaspoon. I'm doing half. Ginger smells delicious. I don't know if anybody else likes ginger, but I love it. We're going to add one fourth teaspoon of the nutmeg. And I'm actually going to add three cloves. If you have it in powder form, add one fourth. So three cloves go in here. I'm going to add my cream cheese. If you don't like cream cheese, you don't have to add it. I just don't like the flan when it's just made with eggs. I need the cream cheese texture. It tastes better and it's creamier. So definitely want to add this. When I make flan, I add the egg all the, I mean the cream cheese all the time. Then you want to add your, how many ounces? 15 ounce can of cream, of pumpkin puree. Make sure it's not the filling for the pie. This tastes so good. I made one last week. That sucker was gone. Gabby and baby daddy. And I sent some to, to my kids because I, of course, am not eating it. So my kids benefit from all this. And I only have one living here. <laughs> my son didn't get none. I told him to come and get some. Never stopped by. So here's loss. Now, what I want to explain about the condensed milk, you know how it's always really thick and harder to pour? What I did is in the boiling water that I have, I put it in there like for about five minutes. I'm going to go grab that now and pour it in here and you guys are going to see how thin it is. 
So here it is. It's super hot because I just grabbed it from the stove. Ooh. This is the easiest way to do this. And you just pour it. It pours really fast because it's nice and thin. And then you just grab the rest. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to do this step. You can just do it with a spatula. I just say it because it's easier. It's faster for me. Okay, so I have everything in. I'm going to blend this from three to five minutes because I have whole cloves. And then I'm going to strain it. So if you don't have the clove, if you have cloves that's in powder form, you just have to blend this for about two to three minutes. You just want it to get really well incorporated. Okay, everyone, I let this... Go for about four to five minutes and now what I'm going to do, turn off this of course, then I'm going to strain it with one of these. Remember I had whole cloves, this is the reason I'm doing this. You don't have to if you have it in powder form. I keep repeating myself because sometimes I get asked questions that I already explained because I guess they don't understand or I'm not explaining it correctly. I just ran down the stairs for a minute. Okay, so there it is. See, I'm glad I strain it because if you can see the little chunks of the clove, this smells amazing just the way it is right now. Delicious. Okay, everyone, this is the color you want on your caramel right here it's a nice amber color and right away put it into your pot whoa it's gonna pop because it's really 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 hot so what you want to do is you want to move this right away because it'll get hard on you so make sure you get it everywhere everywhere and work fast because the pan will get hot on you also So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this sit here until it cools off a little bit. Not right on the counter, I, I'm putting it on a rack. You want to let that cool off for a few minutes and then I'm going to put it in my uh, fridge so it can cool off a little bit more before I put the uh, all this in there. Okay, so it cooled off. I put my, um, my caramel in the fridge for five minutes. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to give this a quick whisk. And then I'm going to pour it in here. If you hear popping, that's normal. This time it didn't happen. And make sure you get all this deliciousness. By the way, Punky's here. Took a day off. So while this is cooking, I will be shopping. Right, Punky? Right. For a little bit, because she has an appointment. So what you're going to do now, you're going to put your pan in here. You're going to grab your flan. I'm going to put it all the way to one end only. Then I'm going to take the water that I boiled. And I'm going to pour it in my pan. Make sure nothing falls in the flan. And I want to get it to the bottom of the rim of the cake pan. There it is. Now I'm going to bring this pan to the middle. Your oven, you want it at 350 degrees. Forgot to mention that. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put aluminum foil. I don't need it to be completely covered. Just on like that is enough. Make sure your rack is right in the center of your oven. Push that that in there slowly and I'm gonna cook this with the aluminum foil on for one hour after that I will take off the aluminum foil and cook it for another 20 minutes then we'll check it if it needs more we'll put more time okay everyone my flan is done if you can see I cooked the whole time it took an hour and a half and I cooked it the whole time with the aluminum foil on I checked it at one hour, I checked that at an hour and 20 minutes, and then I checked it at an hour and a half, and that's when it was completely done. You wanna make sure that your knife comes out nice and clean. I'm gonna let this cool off for an hour out here at room temperature, then I'm gonna refrigerate it for another hour, 
and then I will be using this charger to plate it to show you what it looks like okay so I left my pie cool off on top for one hour on the counter then I put it in my fridge for another hour and now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take a chopstick if you don't have a chopstick feel free to use a um, what is it called a toothpick which is what I think I should have done I'm gonna go all the way around to release it I'm gonna come back around to make that come back down okay so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna take this charger and I'm gonna flip it over and then I'm going to lift there it is and now since Gabby is home from school because she had half a day I'm gonna give her a slice <laughs> oh yeah not really I'm gonna give her a slice so that she can have a taste Look at how beautiful that looks. Right. Okay. Oh my god. So that's that. Let me do this. No, let me get a little bit of the uh Google. A little bit of the syrup on the napkin. You have a lot of syrup in your pan, even though you guys don't know that. Drizzle it with um, syrup and we'll get ready for a taste test. What happened here? <laughs> Half a day from school, so she's super excited. Gabby, pick up your plate, show them what it looks like. <laughs> she's so excited, she can't stand it. She loves this pumpkin pie flat. I've made it before. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> How does it taste? Good. Good or delicious? There's two different things. Superlative? Superlative. I don't know what that means, but I'm thinking super. It is. So, that's what it looks like. Nice and smooth, delicious. Don't forget, guys, if you like this video, <laughs> don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Definitely, definitely, you can do this like if you're gonna have a Halloween party. Definitely for Thanksgiving, Christmas, for any uh, desserts that you want for these holidays that are coming up. So, um next sometime this week or maybe monday i will have a fruit tart fruit tart for you guys so stay tuned for that and yeah i will catch you in the next one if you're new to my channel thank you so much for your for subscribing i really appreciate it and like i said there's more to come so stay tuned take care and god bless bye